and welcome to episode 7 of Merc Tech. So, continuing where we left off from yesterday, we was in the middle of... Well, probably about to build Trebuchet. Uh, first things first off, let's make sure everybody is well repaired, as that is always priority. Uh, you always want to have a functional lance before you... Oh, that's a bit weird. Interesting. Huh. Okay, we'll we'll roll with it. You always want to have a functional lance uh, before you actually start building stuff, just so in case you, something goes wrong, you've got something to fall back on. Uh, we don't have this panther. What was I going to do with this panther? I think I just wanted the engine out of it and the gyro. The SRM out, and then I think we're good to go. The Javelin I actually did want to make, didn't I? So let's see what engines we've got available. I'm also going to need a gyro, which is going to suck. Don't have any. I have just pulled one out of the Panther, though. Got a spare 180. Um, I think we've got something going here. Wait for the gyro to come out from the Panther, and then we've got ourselves a nice little Javelin. However... The real challenge is this. So, let me know what you guys would build yourselves. Um, sadly, I record two days in advance, so I won't be able to see. But I should have asked last session, the last episode, but even then, I still wouldn't have seen it um, until. The day after I would have built it. However, I'm still really curious what you guys would build, how you guys would build it, and yeah, um, maybe we could swap to it in the future if it's a definitely a better design than mine. Uh, I'm not being super, super tight ass with my money, I won't lie. I'm pretty lenient when it comes to that. Let me see, let me see. Two more. Um, a little bit weird. Yeah, I think I prefer that. I was going to take two off the head, but the difference between 22 and 20, I feel like, is actually quite a bit. So, what would I actually build? I think I am going to go for the SRM route. And the reason why is... LRMs are becoming a pain to find. They really are. Uh, so, I think if I do, they're all different types, I think I might need to do these two. If I do a hover tech there and a shannon there, then I throw in some SRM ammo, probably two tons, maybe even a third ton. Two and a half. Let's do two and a half, just to be safe. Um, I doubt I'm going to go through this much. Uh, I'll playtest it though. I'd rather plan ahead and it actually evens out my stuff pretty nicely. I don't need any extra heat sinks. I'm definitely going to put some in though. Um, I think it's going to be medium lasers. The question is, is it going to be tier zeros or tier ones? It's going to have to be a mix. Which means I'm going to put all my tier zeros in that arm and my tier one in that arm. And here we go. Four heat sinks and we are good to go. This is actually it took me less time than I gave myself credit for. I was expecting this to take a bit longer. So. I would use the double heat sinks here. If I had four of them. And I'm going to try, I know I've kind of already broken it with the Griffin. I want to try and avoid using double heat sinks without the proper cooling system. Um, I fell for the Griffin. It's, I just wanted it to be good. It's my favorite mech in the game. I just, I just wanted it to be good. So I kind of broke my own rule. I, for the most part, I'm going to try and stick to the 
basic rules. I could put just a normal victory laser over here. I don't like putting good stuff in arms. Is my worry. Arms get blown off pretty damn easy. So let's just go with that. I know it's less heat efficient. The heat gen is through the roof on this thing. I might even try and drop these down to fours. If I had fours, I would actually drop it down right now. That's Artemis. Uh, yeah, no fours. So I guess we're going the six route. Um, yeah, if I can find some fours, I'm definitely going to grab them and replace these. Put two more heat sinks in. Remove half ton of ammo. Put a jump jet in. For that. However, this is definitely a lot of firepower. Uh, you are not a missile bot. You are most definitely fast with light armor. No, skirmisher. Um, yeah. yeah, I'd say skirmisher. And let us see. So, if I was to play this, I can't do it yet because it's actually been built. That makes sense. Uh, but yeah, we've actually got our lance now. Um, I am going to wait for the, is it panther? This panther over here. They need the stuff out of him. Go the javelin. So this will be the knife mech. And now we can actually start doing multi-missions. Um, today's episode will, will not feature a multi-mission. However, starting tomorrow, I may see if I can get a three-part multi-mission into one episode. And we'll see how that goes. I need to make sure I've got plenty of pilots. I've still got like little bits and bobs to do. So even then, it might not even be tomorrow's. And that's my goal though. Tomorrow is an attempt of a multi-mission. So I need at least three heat sinks. Single. 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 I just remember trying to put heat sinks in the legs if I can. Um... Do I want jump jets in this? Honestly, I think two jump jets might go a long way for this thing. And then just pure heat sinks. I feel like I'm missing something now. The armor is pretty solid. Um, yeah, do that, do that. That's fine, that's fine. I can just take it out of the legs. I always try to line up my legs with slightly more than the front arm of my torso. Um, that's been a pretty good eyeball range for me. When it comes to uh, doing armor. However, let us see what machines we can find. So I'm currently uh, fighting for Karita. I'm looking for specifically Karita missions. Uh, I'm definitely in the two to three. I don't, I've actually been in the five to six or never now in this run. I feel like we have really progressed quite well. So that is the trebuchet done. Let's see what damage we can get done with it. I do think it's still going to be too hot. Um, I would much prefer two SRM4s. It allows for much better ammo control. And I think just a lot better heat management. However, beggars can't be choosers. We've got a defense. We've got some war zones. I'm actually going to go for those defenses. I'm going to do the 16 first. Um, I know it's like lower than... It's, it's, one of the, it's on the lower side. But I think it's going to be a good play test. I don't want to jump into a mega mission and then find out I can alpha once and I die. So let's see yeah multi mission I, this is this is what i may attempt tomorrow if i'm able to get the pilots oh desert map it's gonna be a very hot map i actually love the desert map Probably one of my favorite biomes in the game right now uh lovely bomb biomes map done and a uh von sighten von sizen absolutely amazing mod maker done a fantastic job Please check it out for yourself. 
if you're able to. It is quite big. It is like um, close to just under two gig, if I recall, file size. So it's definitely a hefty one. But we can actually bring in quite a lance for a single mission. This is one of the reasons why I don't like single missions. All you do is just bring in your biggest lance. That's like all you do for every mission. Um, granted, we haven't put the Vindy in. We've put a Panther in, but I much prefer the PVC. So that's fine. What does our Vindy have? It has the melee Vindy. Which I still was very impressed with, gotta say. Uh, speaking of Treb, let me have a look. So this is where the interest bit is. If I'm personally piloting this... Oh, one's in the arm, isn't it? One's torso, one's arm. So that goes there. That goes there. I don't like having this all. So my fourth button is very annoying to reach. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, as soon as I let AI use this, I need to split these lasers like that. Which I know is very weird. Maybe maybe even like that. Um, honestly, I might do it like this. It's, yeah, it's very, very weird. This makes it better for AI later on. And let's get stuck in. Uh, AIs in this game cannot use chain fire. They, they can't fathom the concept. So it's a bit annoying to plan that your um, we have been contracted to your groupings to the AI groupings. It is what it is. And establish a perimeter around the checkpoint. Alrighty, they have artillery. Um... Luckily it's a defense, so it gives me time to actually go and... Oh, I was not able to get out of that. Holy crap. It might actually be better for me to... Um, put my SRMs on... My third button and have them on chain fire. Because I don't think one being torso, one not being torso is actually going to matter too much. So after I get rid of these artists, I've actually got to rejig my things once more. Oh, that's going to suck. Yeah. <sighs> so this is the problem with the one and a half second timer. Ah, are these bugged in this actually? I'm curious. So, normally... These, um, oh, that's a bit of a glitch. Normally, the ship crates are actually bugged. One of two, it's supposed to be one of two things. Either they're not supposed to spawn in normal maps, or they are actually supposed to give loot. They're supposed to just be like a rare chance of getting a lot of loot. Um, at the minute, however, they are just ammo crates. So I'm going to shoot some SRMs and I can show it. The thing I'm going to do though, while I've got a moment, is move that to that. Uh, move that to that. Then on three, put you, you, put you on chain fire. So currently I've got 540 SRM ammo. And now I'm 552. I think that's, that's the amount I've shot as well. However, if you look, Rainer doesn't speak. You don't actually gain any loot. You only gain ammo from these. Um, there are a total of six crates, three on the front, three inside the ship. I don't know what's, what we're supposed to do. Um, I always thought it gave loot, and then I had to confirm that it doesn't. And then I was thinking, well, it's actually kind of good it doesn't give loot, because sometimes you can get multiple spawns of them. Um... Like you can ease I've had like three ships on one map, which means it would have been 18 crates. Which this is a modded jamal, and in modded jamal I play with a mod that buffs up crate loot. It's quite rare. Um 
But that would drastically change if the ships was a thing. Because that means that would be 18 crates of tier 4, tier 5 loot. Because it, it, it ramps up the tiers and it makes it more likely to be modded equipment. It's kind of how the mod works. And that would be insane. So, I'm not sure how I would want the, uh, if I would want the ships to actually give loot. Maybe just make it give sea bills. I don't know, it should give something. Uh, at the minute, it's just an ammo resupply and that's it. Which honestly, on its own, is still pretty solid. Extra ammo is nothing to really scoff at. But yeah, there's three inside the ship. One there, one there, and one in the back. There is a grate blocking the back one. You can just walk through it or shoot it. I have a roar. And it does remove it. However, that is the artillery dealt with. That means the base is now protected from the artillery. Got the SRM-20 carrier, which is actually an SRM-12. Um, got ourselves VTOL. Where is the light mech that we saw? We had a light mech on defense. Oh, I think he just took out the VTOL, so he is still kicking. Have a look. Yeah, I think that's... Him? I thought it was a commando, so maybe there's two light mechs. Gold shooting techs. I'm assuming that was the griffin? Probably the griffin. Yeah, the main reason why I don't want too many lerms. Uh, lerms being LRMs, for anyone that doesn't know. Is... Yeah, it's, it's hard to maintain ammo at the minute. I think I think it's recently been patched. I'm still not on the latest patch. Uh, but it's been a little bit tricky finding ammo in some instances. That was terrible. Ooh, good shooting. Tell you what, I'll give him that. He absolutely nailed me then. There we go. With SRMs. Remember, munitions are three times damage. Which makes you really want to spam them. But, yeah, finding the ammo is also the other pain. That's why AI learn bolts will actually be disgustingly strong. Oh, this flamer. Yeah, Desert Planet is actually frying me a new one. So let's be a little bit careful with this heat. I did know this guy was going to be very toasty, and we got a hot map, just to really add insult to injury. However, honestly, it's not doing too bad. It's actually manageable, in very loose quotation marks. Great lerms, fantastic lerms. Uh, so we got an assassin and a wolfhound. Oh, I do love a wolfhound. Well, I guess we're on legging duty. But the assassin is first up. Right. I do love me a good wolfhound. I won't lie. I kind of want pulses for it, though. If I was to be extremely picky. I need to be a lot more direct with my SRMs. I'm, I'm relying on the lock-on too much. Um, I see a lock-on, I'm just like... I, I'm treating them like streaks. And they really aren't like streaks. Uh, he got me good on that end bit. He got me real good. Have a look, all found. I'm struggling to sink this heat. Deserts are nasty, nasty stuff. Let my AI take the aggro for a moment. Right arm, that's a large laser gun. That's the big threat gun, to be fair. Large laser is a good chunk of damage. That's a lot of heat, though. Point blank lerms. Don't know if that's really worth it. I get this leg. Both legs are open. That's a good start. He's looking towards me now. 
I have behind the from outline, so I cool down. Definitely, definitely a heat problem. <sighs> How did they kill him? I don't think that was a leg, if I was to have a guess. Oh, they have a partisan. They have a few partisans. Holy moly, okay. Um, they can shoot for a good couple of kilometers. I, don't, I think the AI can only shoot to up to one kilometer, but I do know that they can shoot a good couple of kilometers. But we ought to be careful. Oh, PPC just missed. Nice. Tank goes bye-bye. I could definitely go and grab all the crates before we kind of finish up here. Um, as a way to sort of refund my ammo. Because, you know, ammo is a... I would say rare commodity, at least in the SRM's case. If I was shooting something like the, the Whirlwind, the 120 ammo Whirlwind in the Wolverine, then I would definitely go and grab. Like, if you really wanted to cheese it, you could uh, mech swap into the Wolverine or whatever, you know, uses the most rare ammo. And then do it that way. However, I'm just gonna just refresh mine here. There's still two crates left, I'm back on max. I probably won't do it anymore, just because of the inconvenience of it. Shadowhawk with a PPC and a Wasp with its usual medium laser. Oh, so it's a cicada. I didn't see him. Yeah. Looks like we're going to be matching up with the cicada. Nice. I'm guessing they're on... Yep, yeah, that'll be the anti-air kicking in. Yeah, that was a good... Good SRMs on that back bit. Ow. The sensor scramble from PPCs is genuinely ridiculous. Even being in nearby the actual shooting section of the PPC, where it's being shot from, will provide scramble. Oh, we actually just got through armor critted, I believe. I saw a, a heating break. Well played, my AI. Be careful here. I need to utilize these SRMs a bit more, I think. The damage they're pumping is genuinely insane. That's all M5 gone. Gotta be careful with my heat though. 80, I think, is where problems start to occur. Like, you can see my max speed was... I just wasn't able to hit max speed then. Have some more SRMs. There we go. Looks like the cicade just went pop as well. Now, our ally was working on the cicade the whole time, which I'm actually okay with. If he's able to take care of it by himself, that is less work for me. The overheat looks like he did. Good stuff. Yeah, we've used a lot of ammo in this mission. By me, um, I've recovered mine. I'm seeing my AI has gone through a good chunk of theirs. If I was to hazard a guess. But there is a partisan. AC5 partisan. That is a nasty tank. That is a nasty, nasty tank. It is the last enemy though. The spider survived to the end. This is one of the spiders that has no health. Um, lost an arm, but honestly. Well played. Is what I will say. And he's going in. He ain't stopping. I think he's going to get absolutely blasted by this AC-5. So we're going to watch it happen. But yeah, he's full sending it. Partisan seems to be stuck. I can actually see it over there. It does seem to be stuck. Looks like the terrain... Oh, not there we go. He's freed himself. One spider. I'm just going to watch him get absolutely blasted. 
Uh, it looks like it's looking towards me or my allies. There's an ally behind me, speaking of. Really messed up my gyro there, but other than that, pretty solid. Nice. Pretty solid mission. I took a little bit more damage than I should have. We used quite a lot of ammo. However, I'd say that was a pretty good mission because we got a lot of payment for that. I think we earned over a mil. And we got 12 salvage. We didn't leg anyone though. The target that I tried legging the wolfhound got finished off by one of my allies. In quite a spectacular fashion. So I'm assuming that was a core and not a leg. 1.6 mil. We can grab the Shadowhawk. Oh, he ejected because we took out all of his weapons. Right. That is a thing that happened. I thought we actually took out the Torso before he got out, but that means that is a full Shadowhawk. And that is the Shadowhawk I like. That is a triple laser, triple SRM Shadowhawk. You barrel stuff people and tell them to have a nice day. That's what I like to do with that thing. And it is a lot of fun. Uh, damage, honestly, well done across the board. These anti VTOLs doing amazing work. I say that. There wasn't many VTOLs. But. Oh no, there we go. They don't go on the vehicles. Air units. Griffin. I guess they all got swiped by the Griffin. So I'm not too surprised by that. The Wolverine took out the Cicada. Oh no, one of any of these because it's a cicada. Very good though. Very little damage taken as well. Very good. Just me being bad at the game. Who's taking damage? So let's make sure we've got plenty to rearm ourselves. I am a bit cautious on the LRM ammo. I won't lie. We've got enough for you. Yep. We've got enough for another mission. Just, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't need that half ton. I will just take that out preemptively and slide in a jump jet. That's just to help with artillery if I pilot the mech. Um, let's take a quick look at my barracks for a second. So there's four. I need... I kind of want nine pilots, maybe ten. Uh, but that will be... I think I'll hold off. I will think I'll do another episode of missions. Maybe this defense on Warzone over here. Did I do the wrong defense? I did do the wrong defense. I did the bigger defense, 22. Ooh, that would explain a lot. Uh, I'm going to do this defense on Warzone. I'll then go and pick up some pilots, build the Shadowhawk, come back... And we'll get into the nitty and gritty. However, it's a little bit shorter. Just under 30 minutes. However, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.